The bomber, developed and manufactured by Northrop Grumman and assembled in Palmdale, California, has been given a new schedule by the U.S. Air Force. The U.S. Air Force is moving rapidly along with the construction of its first two B-21 Raiders, as the next generation stealth bomber inches ever closer to full-scale serial production. The B-21 is being assembled at a secure government-owned, contractor-operated facility known as Air Force Plan 42 near Palmdale, California. Plan 42 has over 3 million square feet of industrial space and is near Edwards, Air Force Base where the bomber will undergo flight testing. Northrop Grumman's production contract for 80 to 100 bombers was worth $55 billion in 2012. Adjusted for inflation, contract could be worth $63 billion. He two planes will need to be tested and flown before more are built. According to senior Air Force officials, the first B-21 Raider will be completed in early 2022 and undertake its maiden flight later that year. The U.S. Air Force initially stated that the maiden flight would occur by December 2021, but Randall Walden, director of the Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office, says that this earlier estimate was always a best-case scenario. Meanwhile, the second B-21 is taking shape. It's really starting to look like a bomber, said Walden in an interview with Air Force magazine. The second one is really more about structures and the overall structural capability, he added. We'll go in and bend it. We'll test it to its limits, make sure that the design and the manufacturing and the production line make sense. The B-21 is a heavy stealth strategic bomber with its roots in the long-range strike bomber program and early to mid-2010s procurement program for a long-range, nuclear-capable strike bomber. As with its Russian Pakti and Chinese H-20 counterparts, the B-21 is a flying wing subsonic bomber that prioritizes stealth, penetration capabilities, and prodigious payload capacity over raw speed and supermaneuverability. Among the Raiders' currently confirmed weapons is the Jazz MAR Stealthy Cruise Missile, the 30,000-pound Bo-57 Massive Ordnance Penetrator Bunker Buster Bomb, and Bo-31 Joint Directed Attack Munition Satellite Guided Bomb. The B-21's armament suite is being designed with a focus on payload and configuration flexibility to accommodate a wide range of roles and mission requirements. Though the full extent of its battlefield capabilities has yet to be revealed. The B-21 will be phasing out the Air Force's fleet of B-52, upgraded B-1, and B-2 bombers. Despite a steady stream of revisions, it is becoming increasingly difficult to keep these aging aircraft viable through iterative updates. U.S. Air Force has concluded, and not without reason, that a fresh platform is needed to sustain their bomber capabilities into the coming decade. At least 100 B-21 bombers will be built, although some prominent voices in the defense community are calling for much more than that. General Arnold Munch, commander of Air Force Material Command, previously suggested in an interview with Rhett. Lieutenant General David Defula, Dean of the Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Studies, that a target of 180 B-21s is not only feasible, but makes logistical sense. As I look at how we set up the mission system in the open systems architecture for the B-21, we are going to retain those aircraft for a long period of time because I am going to bring new technologies in. For small fleets it is hard to get a vendor base, said Bunch. Despite the first B-21's delayed maiden flight, Air Force officials say that the bomber program remains on schedule. Lt. Gen. James C. Dawkins, Jr., Deputy Chief of Staff for Strategic Deterrence and Nuclear Integration, clarified earlier this month that the Raider will be ready for service in 2026 or 2027. Infrastructure investments have yielded significant benefits in the design and assembly of the B-21 Raider. Northrop Grumman's highly skilled workforce leverages cutting-edge technologies, including highly immersive virtual environments and both augmented and virtual reality to drive innovation in digital engineering and advanced manufacturing to build a producible, 
sustainable and maintainable 21st century bomber. Our early and continued investment in infrastructure, design maturation, risk reduction, and our workforce has been a significant driver of progress on our first two aircraft on the production line in Palmdale, said Steve Sullivan, Vice President and General Manager, Strike Division, Northrop Grumman. As a result, we are well positioned for low-rate initial production following key milestones in 2022 and beyond. An example of the impact of these infrastructure and employee investments was a recent systems integration demonstration that further matured B-21 hardware and software integration. Recently praised by the Air Force. These efforts are instrumental to the Raiders' rapid development. We're not getting something experimental, said Dr. Will Roper the former Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics, in a January 2021 Aviation Week interview. We expect to get a representation of the full production to first flight. It is being designed for production innovation, for maintainability and sustainability, up front and back. As the program continues to prepare for the rise of the Raider, Northrop Grumman and the U.S. Air Force are continuing their steadfast collaboration to provide the long-range penetrating strike aircraft the nation needs. The B-21 Raider is the product of a proud partnership between Northrop Grumman and the U.S. Air Force, Sullivan said. We are committed to delivering the world's most capable technologically advanced bomber that will equip our warfighters with every strategic advantage against our adversaries.